Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Mom With Me. I'm trying to work on a new introduction because I really get tired of saying hey guys. But anyway, that's besides the point. Um, I'm going to be talking a little low. You guessed it, no sleeping. So this video is going to be a review. Not a review of first impressions really. I am going to film a part two to this once I put both bags to use. So I can tell you which ones I like, which one I like better, which one worked out better for me, and so on and so forth. So, if you guys are interested in a review slash, well, not review, I can do a little bit of a review. I can do a little bit of a review. I can do a little bit of a review on the fond design because I did use it for a day. It wasn't too long, but I did use it. Um, but if you're interested in a first impressions on the fond design bag as well as the dupe that I got for it, then keep on watching. If you followed my first video, oh, by the way, do not mind my backdrop. I'm in my living room, not my living room, my dining room, and that's the current bag. So if you saw my first video on the fond design bag, you saw and heard everything that I went through with that first bag. So I did end up reaching out to customer service again and um they told me the same thing about the back stitching and then i told them oh they said oh it's normal and standard with every bag blah 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 i said okay so i understand the back stitching problem however is it normal for you guys to send out bags that have like scuff marks on them and like stitching that's literally about to fall apart i mean you guys saw what i saw and he, the person was like oh i apologize blah blah, blah. i said okay well is it possible to do an exchange but for a completely other color because i was just over the gray i didn't want the gray i had a feeling or i just felt like they were giving me bags that were returned like i just didn't feel like they were brand spanking new bags um i just said let me ask for a whole nother color right so he he or she because i'm not sure um what the person was but they said yeah, sure, that's fine. So perfect. I had to pay for my return. I ended up doing priority mail. I paid 13 and some change for a return. Whatever. At this point, I was just so over it that I was just like, whatever. If I have to freaking pay for the return label to get a good bag, it is what it is, right? Because it's my fault that I keep wanting a return. I, could, I mean, I keep wanting to exchange it. I could have just returned it and got my money back. But I really, really want to know what's the hype about this bag that I initially fell so in love with, right? So whatever. I ordered it my um my bag I sent it prior to mail which was two to three days shipping I sent it on a Monday and I waited the whole week didn't hear back from them I even emailed on Friday and said hey my bag I sent it on Monday you guys should have received it by now I haven't heard anything so then that following Monday so a week later the person responded back to me and said oh hey uh yeah we have your bag um we're going to be shipping out the other one. So fine. It was like a day for processing, I think. And then I got the bag pretty quickly. I got the bag, I think within a day after that. So that was, I got my bag. And to my surprise, when I opened the box, you guys saw the video of when I first opened the second bag. So this will be the third bag that I get. So you guys saw the um, unboxing. So in the first unboxing, I did not show you guys um, <clears throat> the bag came in the dust bag there was nothing else around it the second one the same thing you guys saw me pull it out in the dust bag surprisingly enough this bag came wrapped in plastic now i did open it because it i've had this bag already for like a week or so and i really needed to inspect it a little bit before um i do this video because if i needed to return it again i needed to do it within the time frame so it's open. I haven't really, really looked at it, but I briefly glanced at it. But anyway, to my surprise, it came in this plastic bag. And I was like, this looks brand new. Like, they literally packaged it. This was nicely sealed. I was like, I did not get my green bags like this, or my gray bags like this, but whatever, right? So I open it, and it even, it even had the smell of, like, it had a very weird uh, distinct smell but it had a smell to it like if it just came from the factory you know like if it was just made that my gray one neither one of the two that I had um it, they didn't have that smell so anyway like I mentioned to you it comes in this dust bag which I love um 
So I ended up just getting the black one because I figured black would be more practical for me since, oh, I actually was gonna get the, the dupe, the Miss Fawn bag in black, but they came out with another color. So I said, well, I might as well gonna get the little one in black, right? So let's take it out and take a look. It came in still in the same, it's a dust bag and then it's like another one, like a little mesh material here, which I like that it's like so protected. And then this is a black one. Now, <clears throat> I don't see the problem with the stitching on this one. Probably like very, very, no, I wouldn't even say minimal. Maybe like some little things like this. Uh, you can't really tell, but nothing bad. Nothing like it was with the gray one. Um, all of the plastic is on the hardware and the bag looks like perfect. Hey, boo. <laughs> um, the bag looks perfect, and I'm actually, I'm obsessed. Like, I really, really like this one. Um, I like this one much better than my gray one. Um, so you guys already know what it looks like because I did a review on the gray one, and this one is exactly the same. It has the buckle for the... <laughs> it has the buckle for the... Um, for the, you know what that's called. I, I just had a brain fart, so I don't know. But, um, oh my God, what is this? What is it called when you have this? Hmm? You don't know, I don't know what I'm asking you. It's to wear like tote style. And then there's the, there's the, the straps in the back. Look how pretty it is. Super cute. Isn't this one better than the gray one? Super cute. I would love to know what you're gonna do with all those bags. Use them. Um, so I really like this one when I saw this and I pulled it out and looked at it for a little bit I was obsessed I almost wanted to buy the big one but I just thought of all the hassle now okay here's my opinion right if it came like this from when I first ordered it I would definitely purchase the big one because I like it I really think that the quality it feels like it's a strong material it's sturdy um it's just I went through so much of a hassle to get to a good bag. This is my third bag. That has never happened to me with anything. I can't even tell you not even anything from Amazon. Nothing from, like, nowhere. Nowhere. But anyway, if it came in this condition when I first got it, I probably would have purchased another one. But, um, I don't know. I can't speak for the future. But as of right now, um... The, the, I'm just gonna stay with this one. I'm obsessed though. I love it. It's beautiful. I love it much more than the gray one. And um, I did use it once and it was actually perfect. Like I, I use it to go really quick to my son's doctor's appointment and it fit literally everything that I needed. I'm really excited to pack it and get little like um, pouches because I've seen a lot of moms put pouches to organize the bag. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I will do a follow up video on what's in my diaper bag and the little one i felt the need to do this video about this bag because there are very few if any videos on like the process of when you order and when you receive the bag i've seen a few unboxings and i just i don't know i know that there's a lot of people that haven't gone through you know a bad experience but i feel like the people that have gone through bad experiences aren't really speaking up i don't know because i like i really didn't see anything um on there but then it's weird because when i talk to other moms i hear that they've had these issues so i mean it is what it is so i felt like i needed to do this video just so you guys know you know like it's nice for you to know the really good side of it but it's also nice to know what will happen if you need to return or if you get something defective or messed up with the bag or whatever you know and i saw a lot of like what's in my diaper bag what's in my phone diaper bag but nothing like this where they're really um going into detail about the process and um ordering and and if you have to go through customer service and things like that so anyway i hope that was useful for you guys but i really really like this one i am so excited i'm so happy that after all the freaking drama i went through with this bag i got a good one so let's get to the next bag now this one i saw it on a youtube video when i was looking for um reviews on the fond design so when i was initially um looking into that bag i did do my research and i stumbled upon a youtuber 
that did a dupe video like this and I can't remember her name I'm so sorry but anyway I saw that the name was Miss Fong and that she got it on Amazon it was I believe so for this one I paid and this is the mini version this one I paid $89.99 one um was I have to link it down below. I think it was $44.99 or $46.99. It was between $44 and $47. I'm not sure. And this is a larger version. So pretty much the bigger version of this one. Except this is not Fawn Design. This is Miss Fong. Now I was looking a lot into the reviews. A lot in the comment section. I know that when she first came out with the bag. Um, and this is so cute. It says a three year old boy's mom. I was looking a lot into the review section. And it said a lot of things about, there were some complaints about the straps, uh, the placement of the straps, and they were hurting people's backs. She since then has fixed the issue, so I'm really excited about that. Something with the colors of it weren't, like it, it wasn't true to color as far as what you saw on the internet versus what you received. And I don't think it was that as much as people maybe expected it, like for example, the, the pink bag. Um, people expected it to be a blush bag but it's really like a baby pink um but whatever minor things like that but nothing extreme for me to say like uh, i shouldn't waste my money on that bag i saw a lot of you know i wanted to spend money on the fong saw this bag and i'm so happy i went with this bag so that's what sold it for me was that so many moms were raving about this bag so i said well i need to buy one <laughs> because if there is a cheaper bag a cheaper version of that most expensive bag that trust me I've been debating with myself for what knows a year and a half a year and a half probably more on whether I should fork up the money for the bag and I was like let me get the mini because it's not as expensive and I can try with something small and see if I like it and then if I do like it I'll get the bigger one but I'm so glad I stumbled upon this so anyway it came in a box um it came in this plastic as well it came in the Amazon box um and then it has this dust bag. Now, this dust bag is not the same quality as the Fawn Design. Obviously, you're, you, you, I mean, you get what you pay for, right? So, this is much nice and softer. It's a nicer material. This material, I will say this though, it's a very well put together dust bag, even though it's not the same quality as the Fawn Design. Like, look at this stitching on this, and it's pretty thick. So. I really like that it looks like you can tell she put a lots of thought into packaging um, you know and trying to get the most effective price for the consumer so I definitely appreciate that this video is gonna be so long because I'm doing two bags but I'll run through it quickly um, okay so when you open it um, so this is the same bag now, another reason why a lot of moms like this bag from the reviews that I saw was that it wasn't so, um, I guess people don't really like having names and labels on stuff. So there's no names on this. Um, she did not put Miss Fong on the actual bag. She does have a little tag though. It's super cute. Has her Facebook, Instagram, and website information. So it's a nice little touch. All the hardware is gold, just like the Fong design. The stitching, you know, is good. I do see a little bit of a similarity when it comes to the stitching. So maybe it was a known issue. However, it's not it's not bad at all. Like the stitching, I mean, whatever, I can move past it. So it's basically a bigger version of that little one. Um, it has a pocket here, a pocket here as well. Now we'll say this, these zippers are much more smoother than the one on the Fawn Design. The material is much smoother then the font design in the sense where like i mean you feel this and it just feels a little softer this one's a little rougher but i mean to me that's not a big deal and obviously this is a bigger bag so you have bigger pockets on both sides and they have little zippers on both sides she has in the back here um this little opening which from what i saw was like where you could easily access your wipes and then there's two types of bags there's a convertible one which it comes with um, the strap that you that you attach here on the side, but then you can also attach it in the back um, It comes from like here Down and I thought that maybe it would bother my neck. So that's why I didn't get that one So these straps are just the leather straps not the racer straps or car seat straps like the um, fawn design does but We'll hope that those last 
um, but it's the same style backpack and then it comes with the strap to do it straps to put it over like that um so when you open it now another thing is that this one is more sturdier than the mini here on the bottom there's no cardboard there's no nothing so the bag stands a little bit more flimsier you know what i mean whereas the miss fong bag it stands up right it's straight it has like a a board here is what it seems so it sits up right on the inside is like a material of like um you know like a diaper changing pad so it looks like it's easy to wipe too which is awesome and then this was the best part right so i paid like 40 something dollars for it i got a diaper a diaper changing pad that again you can wipe it it's easily wipeable it came with the straps the strap that you attach on the side like that and then it also comes with the stroller straps so you know how i said that i love the skip hop bags because it has a stroller strap well these come with stroller straps too so i'm so happy about that it comes with this little like chain loop inside you can put your keychain on there the fawn design has this one too but it's not it's not so long it's really short and i actually like the idea of having this little thing versus having like the key ring um, but it's not a big deal to me and then this is what the inside looks like you have like these mesh compartments okay so it's very similar to the fun design there's two mesh compartments in the front there's two ins what is that? insulated pockets inside both on either side and then there's another um, mesh pocket towards the back and there's a zipper pocket as well towards the back. And I believe the fond design had about the same ones without, with the exception of the, um, with the exception of the insulated pockets. This bag I love. Do you see all these pockets? There's a pocket here. There's a zipper pocket back here. And there's like little pockets all around just to organize everything like that. That brings so much joy to my heart because <laughs> like I love being so organized. And the fact that this has so many compartments where you can just put everything like boom 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 and then in the middle just put like your maybe like your essentials that like doesn't leave room for much clutter you know and the bag is a pretty decent size i mean my first impression is that i absolutely totally love this bag um this one it almost makes me want to get the fond design however it's just like why would i if you know like i could spend 40 something dollars and get something like exactly the same do you know what i mean so it will be good to see how they both hold up and then maybe do a video later on to see the, which one fell apart first <laughs> but i will be doing a what's in my my diaper bag for both of them or how do i pack it or whatever um and also giving an update on how both bags wore how do i like the straps on this one the material how does it hold up if i ever need to wipe either one of them down but, oh yes, this is an olive color. I'm sorry, I totally forgot to mention. This is an olive color. They have a camel color, a black color, a kind of beige, almost stone gray, but I think it's more beige than anything. Um, and then the color that's like a, a light pink, not really blush, but it's like a very light pink, like a dusty pink. I think that's it. Also, what's so, so amazing is that she's coming out with more colors and she's coming out with minis oh my god and if she comes out with minis i'm gonna get them in every color <laughs> but she did mention on her amazon i think it was or maybe i saw it on her instagram because i follow her on instagram oh i love it she's so responsive i wrote a comment on one of her pictures and she responded back like she's so like she interacts so much with everybody just really sweet she seems really sweet she mentioned she's going to be coming out with minis next month in april so i'm so excited i'm definitely gonna look out for that i believe she said she's gonna come out with more colors i think she's gonna make like an actual like gray color um she's gonna probably make an actual like blush color she, i know i've seen her post on instagram like um her trying um different color patterns to get the right color so you can tell that she's really trying to perfect her craft especially taking um people's reviews into consideration um if you see her on amazon she's always responding back and making sure that the customer is absolutely happy and if something happened wrong with the bag 
I love that. I absolutely love that. And yeah, that's it. I will post down below the link to both of the websites and the price of both of the bags. And I mean, you can make your decision. I think, to be honest with you, I like them both a lot. I would have to see how they work, you know, both of them on a day-to-day -day basis. I have been dying to use these bags. You guys don't understand. They've been sitting there for over a week because I needed to do this review. However, my aunt passed away. I was in New York past weekend and there was just so much going on. So, um... I finally got to sit down and film this. So I'm sorry it was so long. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. But if you have any questions about the bags or something that I did not touch on. Because I was just trying to film this video so fast. Because he's sleeping and it's kind of late. <laughs> I want to go to bed. I'm pretty sure I forgot stuff and this video was all over the place. But I wanted to show you guys the bags before I start using them. Because I was literally about to use one of them today. And I was like, no, let me hold off. I need to, you know, show them like how the bag is and you know i always want to be truthful and honest so this is exactly how the bags came do i think the fun design is worth it the quality is good however if every experience wasn't like the one that i had i probably would have repurchased but it's just so much of a hassle for me having to return and get it back and the fact that it was super sketchy that the black bag came wrapped in a plastic and it smelled new and then the other two didn't come like that like that just kind of threw me off so i really don't know what's going on over there <laughs> but um but anyway moving forward i'm really excited about the bag and to see how it wears and stuff like that do i think this bag is worth it so far yeah i mean i think you get a lot for you know it's it's a bang for your buck i mean you get this a diaper changing pass stroller straps that you don't get with that one and you pay much more we'll see and i will keep you ladies posted thank you so much for watching if you have not subscribed already please subscribe like comment everything <laughs> and um i will see you in my next video